Hi, my name is Emmy, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thankfully, recently, in the last two or three months, I've been getting more subscribers than I used to, and that's amazing. I love it. I'm having fun. However, there is one thing that is haunting me, <laughs> and that is that my first video is getting more views. I think every single content creator on this platform has one thing in common, and that is that their first video is their worst video, no doubt. And the problem is that that video is kind of serving as an introduction, but it's a horrible one. <laughs> That's the problem. So with today's video, I want to make an alternative introduction video. I just want to talk about the relevant stuff. I want to talk about why I'm studying Spanish and why I started this YouTube channel. And I will go more in depth on the first video. So if you've had the displeasure of watching it, then it's not going to be like I'm repeating myself. So even before I start talking about Spanish, I want to talk about my journey with French. I need to start from here because it's closely connected and you'll see why. So as a kid, I always wanted to learn French. My mom spoke French and I thought it was the most beautiful language in the world. And then when I got into high school, I actually went to a really unusual high school in Japan and they had classes on your second foreign language so obviously I took French for three years and it was a great experience but the thing was the French class was extremely slow to give you an idea of how slow it was I started doing the passé composé that's the easiest form of the past tense in French and I started doing that finally on my third year like that's how slow it was but it's fine I had a good time it was fun and then I got into college and then I had to take a second foreign language so I took French but then I was too scared to start from the intermediate level so I decided to do it from the beginner level and I knew that I would be bored to death at least for the first couple of months because we're gonna be starting from the alphabet and then I decided to take Spanish at the same time like I always kind of wanted to do Spanish I just liked how Spanish sound and I thought it was such a cool language and just the idea that being able to speak Spanish would unlock so many countries for you like doing French that opens a lot of doors in Africa doing Spanish that opens a lot of doors in Latin America that was really appealing to me so I always wanted to do Spanish and on top of all of that I was always attracted to the Latino culture because it's the opposite of what everything Japan is <laughs> like it's vibrant it's colorful it's loud a lot of foreigners are super attracted to Japan because we're so different we're just attracted to different things and Latin America was that for me and even like the kind of Latin culture in Europe like this warmth that we don't have in Japan that feeling I always was kind of attracted to and that's why immediately when I got into college I was like I want to do Spanish as well so so then for a year, I took both French and Spanish together. And I remember the first semester, it was easy. But then my second semester, I was dying. I was learning new stuff in French and obviously in Spanish. So then suddenly it got really difficult and it was hard to balance it and it was a tough semester. So when it finished, I was like, okay, I'm never gonna do this again. <laughs> and so I decided to just continue with French. And I was like, oh, Spanish, you were fun. I'll do you again someday. And then I just kept on doing French. And then in the summer of 2019, I went to France for a month. I was so lucky to be able to go. My granddad paid for it and blah, blah, blah. Thank you. But anyways, I went to a language school while doing a homestay um, for a month in a little city in France called Besançon. And it was such a great summer. I made great friends there who I still talk to today. And the best thing about it, as in with my French, was my host family because they did not speak English. <laughs> Although like I've been studying French for maybe like four years until that point, it's been all classroom French. So upon arriving to France, I realized that I could not communicate with my host family. I remember wanting to cry on the first night because I was like, I'm going to die of loneliness. But anyways, that turned out to be such a blessing because for me to learn French was a survival. <laughs> like, do you get me? And so it was only a month, but my French improved dramatically. I went from straight up not being able to communicate with my family to being able to hold a conversation with them for hours upon hours. Like that was incredible. And then so I came back to Japan and then I stopped taking French classes in college because I didn't like the teacher and then and then I just stopped studying French like completely like I didn't say now I can speak so I'm gonna be done with French no that was not what happened what happened was that I just kept on procrastinating for like a year <laughs> and then finally we come to Spanish so basically I became best friends with Paulina my Mexican friend who's been on this channel a lot of times we just clicked instantly and we started hanging out with each other all the time and then one day I was like 
I mean, <laughs> what are the chances of you living in Tokyo, growing up here in Tokyo, and then becoming a best friend with a Mexican? This is not Florida, this is Tokyo. It's not like an everyday thing where you have a native Spanish speaker you spend time with. And then I just made a decision. I was like, okay, you know what? I haven't been studying French for a while anyway. I'll just ditch French and do Spanish. And then I told that to her, I was like, Paulinita, I'm gonna do Spanish from today, so... Uh, teach me. <laughs> and then I started doing an audio course. I started doing Pimsleur, which which I really like. And then I literally did it for three days and then just stopped. Again, it wasn't like I was like, Spanish is too difficult or anything. It was just procrastination. So there was like a blank couple of months where I first said, I'm gonna do Spanish, did it enthusiastically for a second, and then just like didn't do it anymore. And then around that time, I started getting into Kelly Stamps, the YouTuber Kelly Stamps. I was in that phase where you just like find a favorite YouTuber and then like you're just like watching all their videos. And I watched her videos about how to be a YouTuber or like you should be a YouTuber or something like that. And I remember that that video and another video that she did about how to use iMovie how to edit and I remember just suddenly connecting the two I was like maybe I can just start a YouTube channel about doing Spanish what I really needed for my Spanish was something that would keep me motivated when I'm not motivated I was like this is a way that I can hold myself accountable and what Kelly Stamps video did was that one of the videos it showed me that it's fun to be a youtuber anybody can be a youtuber you should definitely be a youtuber and the other one the editing one showed me that oh like editing isn't so hard like and then two weeks later i think i posted my first video and it took me two weeks because i was kind of thinking like how i should make this video and then when i started thinking okay how am i gonna film this how am i gonna do this the future looked pretty boring like i was like am i gonna like show my textbook or something like am i gonna show my notes and be like i studied for half an hour today yay or something like that i was like that's so boring like i'm gonna get bored like i don't want to show like my friends are gonna be bored my family's gonna be bored like nobody's gonna want to watch this and i want people to watch this because if nobody's watching it then i won't feel motivated to make a video so what i came up with was that i do like more of a youtuber style thing being like hello my name is emmy welcome to my channel and be a little bit more creative Creative with how I present my Spanish studies. I wanted to make a channel that's a celebration of the journey, kind of, like if that makes sense. And then literally, after doing one or two videos, I realized that making videos are so fun. This is something that I did not expect coming. As I explained, I wasn't interested in making videos at all. And then I realized video making is fun, it's creative, it's a great creative outlet, and I love making them so that's why i'm kind of more trying to be a youtuber right now like this youtube thing has been so fun so far i didn't expect like the community part of it like it feels like i built a little community of my own and i'm so happy i'm so grateful so thank you so much to every single person who is subscribed who is watching my stuff and i think it's been pretty successful there are weeks and maybe even a month that i just like procrastinate and don't really study spanish at all but the reason why i keep on getting back on track again is because of this youtube channel in the past i've abandoned learning french i abandoned learning spanish once and i'm so happy that it looks like it's not gonna happen with this time so that is basically the context of this channel kind of journey ish like why i study spanish why i started this youtube channel thing i hope this channel and me kind of make a little more sense right now and i am so happy that every single one of you are in this journey with me it's been fun let's keep it fun thank you for watching this video until the end and i'll see you again in my next video Bye bye